Hi, this is Rahim Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. And in this video, we will be learning that how to connect uh, slicers between the pages in Power BI dashboard. So for example, I have two pages in my this Power BI dashboard. And uh, on the page one, I have two uh, slicers as a drop down. As you can see, the first one is pertaining to the city and second one is function. And when I select any city from here, a list of cities, for example, if I select Faisalabad, so definitely on page one, my all uh, different objects will be filtered as uh, as the objects on my page will be filtered on the basis of the city Faisalabad, right? And also I can select particular functions which are available in Faisalabad, that is, for example, information services. So I know there are grid 10, uh, only one person is available in that particular location. Uh, so what we need to do is, for example, in on page one, if I select a city, a specific city, so on page two, I want uh, that particular city automatically be filtered. So I need to sync those, both the slicers on the different pages together so that if I make a change on page one with, with that particular slicer, automatically the selected field will be uh, shown on page two as well. So for uh, sync the slicers in Power BI, you need to definitely apply that feature on your particular uh, slicer. So for doing that, what I will do is, I will uh, go to the view tab. Uh, I'm using Power BI December 2019 version. So on the view tab, you can see on the last, uh, on, on, on this ribbon, last option, this is called synchron sync slicer, synchronize slicers and control their visibility across the pages in your report. So I will click on this city slicer. I will click on sync slicer option and you can see that sync slicer uh, pane has been now visible on your this application. And as you can see that on page one uh, and page two, uh, you, you need to just check mark on both these options so that when you select any of the city in this particular uh, slicer, for example, let me select Karachi and when I will go to page two now you can see that automatically on page two Karachi has been selected based on the previous page slicer selection so this is how you can sync the slicers and when you have a dashboard with multiple pages for example four to five pages and you want to uh, you you will be having a positioning like consolidated is on a different page and and then uh, business wise functions wise uh, dashboards on a different pages of that particular Power BI report and you need to filter out um, on one report you need to filter and you need that automatically all those filters work on on other pages as well so you need to sync the slices in that particular case so i have told you that how to sync slices that will give you an advantage that you you don't have to go to individual pages and then select again and again those slices once you have selected on one page it will be uh, applied on all the pages as well uh, similarly for the function let's say if i select any particular function from here uh, what i need is on page two that particular function should be selected so here now what we need to do is again selecting the function uh, slicer going to sync slices and i will just check mark on both the options available both the text boxes available so that when i select any function here for example customer service so on page two, you can see that now the customer service has been automatically selected. So I hope you like this technique of sync slices in Power BI that gives you power to uh, synchronize these slices at one go for, for the multiple pages. Thank you.